In today's video, we're going to be talking about money versus art. Oh, this is a crazy topic because every artist that I know, not everyone, but most of them uh, have to kind of juggle this back and forth. And, um, or there's a third option too, where you, your art makes you money. So we're also going to be talking about that. So a few videos ago, I spoke about doing um, crowdfunding for the project I was working on. And we got into how um, we're raising money, which is essentially we're working <laughs> and then we're putting it toward the project. And so you spend your time working and then you spend your time making art. And it seems like I know in my life, that's how it's been. I have my side hustle and I have my art hustle. And, um, and what I really eventually hope to um, accomplish in uh, the world and, and do. And I've had on and off success. Of course, when you're working and you're making money from it, that's the best option, but then you need to supplement a little bit. It can take all kinds of different flavors, but um, it's just some people have that uh, to a little bit of a degree. Some people full on are able to make their entire um, money to cover their life and, and expenses and um, save their savings and for um, from their art. And um, this is something that I'm covering because I don't know, I don't know, I was in the, I'm doing the artist way and I don't know if in the midst of the artist way this came up or something before then, but I no, when I was young, I was said, people said to me, don't do that, it's a hobby, when it came to acting. And I really didn't want to do anything besides acting. And I really felt that the adults around me who had their jobs that weren't artistic were not happy. And I really didn't want that for myself. And maybe it was a resistance against that that drew me into a more artistic and freelance career. But um, it was very interesting. And the thing is, at the time, I felt if I had could go back and communicate with my younger self, I think that saying flat out no, when you find what you love, and then having people, everyone around you saying no, that's not the right choice. That's not the right choice for the people who are guiding you. And if... And, but then at the same time, just being like, go for it, you're going to be a star in six months and in SAG in six months and you can earn your money for your lifetime that way is also not the way to go because it usually takes longer than six months. And I was hesitating making these, this video. I might put this um, so you know I teach and um, I've been really hesitant in adding practical lifestyle things like this to it because I don't want to smash people's dreams or in say things that would dishearten them in the way that people attempted to smash my dream by saying, oh, it's impractical, blah, blah, blah. So that's not helpful, you know, because at 21, I was like, I'm still doing this. And at, um, and also, you know, what's my alternative to be as miserable as the person saying that? So uh, what I learned from that after being in the entertainment industry for a very long time, again, doing that, get some money, make some art, get some money, make some art, is this is what I'd say to someone who's still learning their art and still has a little bit of wiggle room in terms of people helping them financially and everything like that. I would say, and also to the parents of kids or not kids, but people who are considering making this leap. Um, I wish that someone had said to me when I said, I want to be an actor, they would have said, cool, let's look for how you can be an actor and make money and not have it get in the way of your auditions and get in the way of the shows you get into and get in the way of the um, movies that you work on. Let's totally, and how can I help you become an even better um, artist in these areas where you're going to be making money and also help your heart sing? Because if you're doing something that deadens your heart, um, I think that that deadens your way of being in the world. And then it's not, you're not, um, 
successful anyway. Internally, you're not successful, and people just can feel the ick factor when you hate your life. Um, so I just would say, so if I were if the parent, and I, you know what instigated this? I kind of remember what did. I was at a film festival, and I was at a screenplay reading. They do a screenplay reading at the Garden State Film Festival every year, and I was sitting next to two um, people, parents, whose son was doing the reading, and they said, oh, our son wants to be on SNL, and he makes these videos on YouTube, and he's just so into it, and we totally support him because we're artists too. And I love that. I love that, and he's going to be successful because the parents are like, Go, 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 go. You're awesome. You're happy and you're doing your art. And they only need, and they are doing it, and they probably had to figure out the financial aspect of that. So they are going to be totally capable of showing him how to um, parlay his artistic career into money or to do something that will parallel it to allow him to do his art until he gets into SNL or whatever, you know, or starts his own um, show that will make him money, um, you know, his own web series that will maybe be picked up or something like that. So I just wanted to bring attention to that because I don't talk about that very often. And, um, I don't think people handle the practical side of being an artist very well, but this is what I would say to my younger self. Cool. Follow your art, follow your dream. I'll support you a hundred percent. Totally learn and accomplish and do everything you can and always be working toward it. And, Let's sit down right now and figure out a plan for you to be totally self-sufficient um, in a way that will totally complement the activities in your given art.